Despite the late hour, it's creating plenty of problems. Our David Scott live along Mopac. Robert, we're right here along Mopac and Lake Austin Boulevard. Okay, right in this particular spot, but the bottom line is the list of problem places we're getting is as long as your arm right now. If you're in our viewing area, you could have a potential problem spot right near you. The biggest problems in the central Austin area, of course, as always, bridges, flyovers, overpasses. But here's a look for you in Round Rock. This is at 45 and A.W. Grimes. That's been closed for a while this evening because of some problems with slipping and sliding vehicles. They were diverting traffic on it. The last word we got just a couple moments ago is they are reopening that stretch now. A second place we want to show you, another one of the usual suspects, that 620-45 area where it crosses over 183. They've blocked off the eastbound ramp there. Again, ice is the culprit. We've also had problems, as usual, at the 45-183 flyover all night long as they've tried to de-ice that. Again, bridges, flyover's a big problem. The hill country, also a problem, particularly in those little roadways that are lightly traveled because that's where it's slightly colder in the hill country and as they get less traffic on those roads, they do have a tendency to ice up quickly. Art Acevedo, police chief of Austin, putting out a tweet just a short time ago saying, look at folks, if you don't have to be on the roads tonight, stay off until about 10 in the morning when hopefully it'll warm up a little bit. For now, David Scott, KXAN News. It'll be officially the weekend in just a couple of hours from now, but the weather is having an impact on schools like Leander ISD and Austin Community College. We have a full listing of delays right now for you at KXAN.com.